Okay, Worldwide Web, Blue Dub with another edition of Personal Best. It's the listed Parramatta Cup. A number of Sydney Cup hopefuls returning to racing here. The favourite for this 1900 metre race was a four year old Mighty Beal. Locked and loaded now. There's the light and they're off and racing. And on Tont, given a rev up out of the gates by Clark, looking for the lead. Too much to bear right there. Skyward jumped okay. Shiraz making ground early. First in lines going forward as well. And now Mustajir in the chequered coloured cap is slicing through the pack. They're followed then by Great House together with True Marble. Back in the field is Nickajack K from Abara's Parry Sound. And no compromise has been snagged back to last. Too much to bear really using the inside gate and has held out on Todd early. First in line moves up on the outside and goes on with the job. Then came Mustajira lands a great spot on the outside of Skyward. Further back then to Shiraz from Mighty Beal and poking through on the fence is Sweet Thomas. So Shiraz has planted three wide. They're followed a length and a half back to True Marvel there in the white cap. Great house three deep. Over on the inside, Nickajack Cave. A length further back to Mabaras from Parry Sound and no compromise last. About a dozen off the lead. Inside the thousand metre marker and it's too much to bear in front by a half length on first in line. On top with Kavanaugh in third on the outside of Skyward. A length and a half to Mustajir. They're followed then by Shiraz from Sweet Thomas, Mighty Bill, the favourite midfield there in the white cap. Out deeper is True Marvel from Nickajack Cave, then came Great House from Mabara's Parry Sound, and no compromises. Last of all, inside the 600 metres, it's too much to bear in first in line, eyeballing each other. Clark pulls out now on Tomping, wound up. Skyward stays back to the inside. Then came Shiraz from Mustajir. Sweet Thomas trying to make ground on the rails inside the 300, and on Tomping. Moved up on the outside of too much to bear. A mighty Bill is quickly on the scene now. And mighty Bill pounced and shot clear inside the 175 from too much to bear. No compromise darting up the inside. Great house is staying on, but mighty Bill, different class in the Parramatta Cup. That was very cosy. No compromise second, photo third. Too much to bear in Great House, followed by Parry Sound. And the favourite mighty Bill, too good. As far as Sydney Cup trials, early days, but a nice return to race from Great House and no faults in the runs of Shiraz and Entente. Now we'll take a look at some Sydney Cup odds at this stage, seven weeks out from the race itself. Over at Wishbet, Spanish Mission is favourite. He was third in last year's Melbourne Cup and made a strong return to racing last week in the Carline Cup. Kiwi, the chosen one, is expected back and he ranks highly. Further down there is Ocean Billy. He's actually out with a tendon injury and will not race. At Ladbrokes, it's pretty similar though. They've got a Collette as a possible contender and Baron Samadi from Ireland who raced without disgrace in the Irish St. Ledger against Twilight Payment and in the Long Distance Cup against who I rank as the best two-miler in the world, True Shan. The TAB is not much different in terms of order, just a few units of value difference. Very elegant. I should mention there the Melbourne Cup champion, she's at $15, but not likely to take on the Sydney Cup. Check the odds, pick a winner. If you find Personal Best incredibly informative just like me, be sure to like and share. And subscribe.